Wow, I can't believe you decided to click on this one because let me tell you, you are in for some shocking evidence. Some proof that I did not expect to catch out here in the ocean late at night. This is an investigative movie that is going to take you from start to finish on everything that we have found in the new Brookhaven Ocean and some of the scary things that lurk at night. Don't come out here at 3 a.m. Don't try deep sea fishing at night like I did. It was a mistake. I deeply regret it. But that be the case, welcome to a new Brookhaven movie. This one is a full deep dive into the new Brookhaven Ocean, like I said. Uh, what we do, we go over and we try to investigate or find a translucent ocean ghost that apparently has appeared for many players as per usual i say if you catch any evidence make sure you tweet it my way at totally not omg um but this one from start to finish is going to keep you on your toes and it is <laughs> it's unbelievable dude i will say this not to spoil too much but we did find some evidence that is going to blow your mind so if you guys haven't already strap in grab whatever you may need soda popcorn maybe some water and enjoy a brand new Brookhaven movie. It's a scary one. Okay, I'm, I'm really excited for this one, but slightly worried, kind of frightful actually about what we're gonna find and what's gonna be surfacing out here on the ocean. This is a new secret mystery, and I, I do love a good mystery in Brookhaven, a good secret or two. I think many of us do, but if you haven't already, subscribe and we'll host notification ring at the bell, make it a go ding. That's gonna notify you of every single future upload in the future so you don't miss one of these, dude. And basically what I just said, I, I, it's just the typical subscribe, like the, yeah, okay, so. Here we go. I am unsure about this because we're not going to be arriving at this ocean on normal time. We're going to be coming to this ocean and well, we're going to be approaching the ocean at more of a night setting because this apparently only appears at night. Now, if this turns out to be true, or maybe we have to activate one of the agency secrets. We do know there's a lot of ghosts in Brookhaven. And what I mean by that is at the, at the museum, if you activate the grave, it, you know, the grave where the creator of the agency lies, if you activate that grave and then you go back to the museum, you will see a, a ghost of the agency's creator flash right there. So, you know, that's already one ghost sighting that is real that we have found in Brookhaven. We know ghosts are in Brookhaven. You know, Mr. Brookhaven's very visible vanishing and like his, his appearance from time to time throughout different various moments of time in Brookhaven almost alludes to the fact that he is a time traveler of some sort. So, I mean, if we look at that and we see and can confirm that ghosts and creepy things are occurring in the Brookhaven, like the weird green man that the agency was, you know, corruptingly uh, experimenting on like this stuff gets deep and Brookhaven has some darkness underneath it that we normally don't really pay attention to we see a new bright ocean update and we think it's all wonderful a new boats being spawned and islands to explore perhaps secret entrances on these islands I mean this is great however me being the individual I am I have to dive deeper and when I start hearing things about people finding ghosts appear in the ocean at night well i'm all up for it and we're going to see what we can find so first and foremost i think we need a good boat let's go out here and let's get one of the best boats that would be suited for this um let's see we got a lot of boats i always like this one i like this one as my go-to boat i'm going to go in here and then i'm going to change the color of this boat to white you know that way everything's bright and visible and then we're going to head off into the ocean we're going to look at this wonderful island over there now is there any treasure or secrets on the island? Is Does one of the ghosts actually appear on the island? We're going to be looking at all that. So, basically, let's talk into about this mystery. Numerous reports have been saying that there is, off in the distance, they will grab their binoculars and see what appears to be a ghost spawn off in the distance near the islands. And, well, if this is the case, I want to try this out for myself. However, this appears to be time sensitive, and I don't know for sure if you have to activate other secrets in Brookhaven for this to appear. However, we're going to try to figure that out today. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive our boat maybe off over here. Um, now, I don't know personally which island the ghost is set to spawn on. So that could also bite us in the end as well. But this is a group activity. We're going to look at this and investigate this together, right, guys? So let's kind of go to the far corners of the map here into the ocean. Now, so far, I have not encountered too scary things on the ocean, but I also don't roam the ocean at night. I'm going to be honest. It's just not what I normally do. Let's go to the edge of the world here. Um, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. there's the edge. All right, so we're going to kind of sit out here. Now, 
we're at the edge here everything appears to be normal right everything appears to be normal so what we're gonna do is let's now get off on our boat here we're not doing no deep sea fishing today i do love me some deep sea fishing guys how did i did i is that a glitch oh that's a okay i just found a glitch well guys look at this if you come through here you will automatically sit in one of the chairs i guess the chair kind of pokes out a little bit and it makes you sit there okay well i'm gonna go around this way then uh hopefully <laughs> that was an interesting glitch i've never seen that before but yeah i normally like to do deep sea fishing you know what whatever 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 who's saying i can't do some deep sea fishing while i'm out here you know i got my pke meter as well um and dude this goes to proof right we got the pke meter and we got the paranormal investigators in the town hall so it's like the history of brookhaven is very aware and familiar with ghosts and like welcoming towards the idea of investigating them i mean yes we have paranormal investigators but they're usually not respectable and they're not usually respected amongst the many so it's nice to see that the citizens of brookhaven is very much so aware of paranormal and the fact that it can and so very much so it does exist so what we're gonna do now the night is already naturally falling upon us but i'm gonna manipulate the time a little bit since i am on my schedule and we're going to put it to 9 p.m yeah already not gonna lie already that's already way spookier let's get our binoculars uh -huh. just for jokes i'm just gonna have my pke meter out here because this is like the edge of the world like wait why is it going off wait what is that normal is that normal beeping speed is that normal I think that's normal. I'm, I'm going to assume that's normal. <laughs> I'm going to hope that's normal and it's not kind of already. Wait, what is? No, already. Okay. I don't see anything. Um. Okay, let's just kind of look around. Um. Now, there is apparently like a ghost sighting at... There is apparently a ghost sighting at the school, right? So let's get back in our boat. Um, let me change the audio in my game up a little bit, just in case we hear something. Okay, let's, uh, let's go here. All right. So let's actually head on over to another island here. Now, guys, if you see it, wait. If you see anything during this video, guys, post a timestamp in the, in the comment section. Um, like if you see something that I don't catch on one of the islands or something, post the timestamp below so I can go back after I upload this video and see. Because that's going to help us out a lot, too. And, uh, and, and obvious, if you guys are brave enough, you can go search, too. Oh, this is just eerie, though, dude. I don't think... I don't like being out in the ocean at night anyways, dude. It, it, okay, anybody that lives near the sea or been on the o near the ocean at night... You will kind of understand the the scary sounds that come from the ocean. Like, I don't know if it's whales or what, but, like, sometimes you hear some of the most abnormal, like, strange prehistorical, pre like, sounds, dude, that just don't make you feel welcome to be there. You know, the ocean at night is a terrifying thing. And, you know, the, the, the weird thing about it is you don't normally hear any of that stuff if it is, like, during the day that's what always gets me like i'll go to the ocean at the day i don't hear anything but if i go at night i start hearing sounds and noises from creatures that's i guess in the waters that just it's so creepy man all right we're out here um let's stop our boat all right maybe maybe i'll just cast my rod out a little bit yeah oh i hit that glitch again dude that's kind of annoying i ain't gonna lie all right um all right here we go Dude, what if I catch something right now, dude? It is just eerily quiet. That's my big problem with this. Like, it's just quiet to the point that... I don't like it. Okay, well, that, that was fine. Let's get our binoculars out again. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Did I... Was that in the game or... Huh? Oh, heck no, dude. I don't like this spot. I don't know. I don't know if... I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Wait. Did Wolfpack ads? 
ambient sea noises slightly sometimes? That wasn't ambient though, what I what I thought I heard. Um, okay, so So far the islands look just just oddly deserted, you know, as they should, I guess. They're they're isolated islands with not much on them. You know, they should add like some coconuts on the trees or something. That could be cool. Hmm. Yeah, there's another island there. There's only three islands around the map. So that's something to take note on. I, I possibly heard something back there. I don't know if it was in the game. Um, I'll, I'll know watching back, I guess. Uh, like I said, guys, timestamps below if you find anything. Now, th like I said, the next key thing could be activating other secrets to find this ocean ghost. Like, I don't know what it looks like. Um, if you guys find this ocean ghost, tweet it to me on Twitter. That way we can look at it in video too, guys. Make sure you tweet it my way on Twitter. Okay, this is good. I got two viewpoints of the... Uh... All right, there's that island. What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? What is that? Oh, oh, that's probably the sign. That's probably the sign. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go up front. Okay. Okay, just 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 the island as what it is. Just the island what it is. Anything on the Brookhaven Island that looks Ooh, I got chills. Why am I getting chills right now? Maybe it's cold out. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's just cold. You know, it is wintertime. Christmas season. Um Alright, let's keep going. Mm, as far okay, so so far, what we have captured is brief evidence of potential noises that maybe arrive at nighttime on the ocean. Um, that seems about it. Uh, still though, definitely eerie. What's that? Wait when we get docks, dude. That's gonna be so good. Okay. Is that the sign? I think so. Is the sign actually crooked? Let's go check. Okay. And then I wanna go check the grave. I want to go check the grave, too. I want to check the graves. All right, so it's a full moon. Now, I, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure Wolfpack hasn't added, like, moon cycles into the game yet, which you should consider, Wolfpack, because, I mean, the full moon is creepy, and things usually happen on a full moon. So, like, I would like to, you know, look at the moon and not see it full all the time because that's kind of spooky spookers. Um, all right, so, yeah, this is just the, the, the sign that's kind of, like, yeah, this is uh, no boats beyond this point or spawn boats beyond this point or whatever. Okay. Just gonna pull up there. Let's get out. Garbage day. Oh, it's garbage day. Wow. Okay. Right. Boats spawn beyond this point. Okay, cool. Let me hop on my... Uh, let me get just an actual vehicle. Um, I want to get... Uh, let's see. What, what do I want right now? I think... Let's just do a truck. There we go. All right, let's head on over. All right, this is kind of slow, not gonna lie. So let's do 75. That's a good speed, I think. Wait, I enabled. There we go. All right, it's a little glitch I encounter sometimes. I, I Well, I pressed the wrong key, okay. All right, it's 5 a.m. It's about to get daytime again. We spent the whole night, dude. The Christmas tree definitely makes it feel a lot more like not scary. Um. Let's head here. All right. Let me out now, of course. Let's uh, shift key this. If we come down here. Okay, so the agency logo doesn't appear till you activate other secrets. Interesting. Oh, no, it, it right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The agency logo is right there on the back, actually. It stays on there. So that, you know, that obviously supports and confirms the theory of the agency being there. All right, and it's daytime. So our first night on the ocean, looking for the ocean ghost. Um, like I said, guys, if you guys got any leads, let me know. Let me know. Um, let me know. We're obviously going to continue this investigation uh, tomorrow night as well. And we're going to see what we find tomorrow night. I've been hearing a lot of creepy stories. 
So on top of the creepy stories I've been hearing, it definitely gives me the more, uh, it gives me more spooks being out there. So I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I'll touch on some of those creepy stories a little bit more in depth. People, uh, people have like told me their whole experience with encountering stuff on the ocean. Um, so we're going to be covering some of that as well and basing off their stories, seeing what we can find as well to re-navigate us into the right direction because that's going to help out a lot as well. Um, okay, we're diving right into this. If you haven't already, subscribe and enable post notifications for ringing the bell making it go ding. Today, we're, we're continuing the ghost investigation because it's getting weird. So, basically... All I can say is, holy moly, if you haven't hit the like button yet, dude, what is wrong with you? This, oh, the snow cleared. That's good. The snow finally went away. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking a bit scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared today because I'm going to be doing things I shouldn't be doing again. And, well, well, let's get this right, guys. The ghosts in Brookhaven are constantly kind of surfacing from time to time and i'm gonna tell you this dude i don't really like the ghost thing i i i, I it kind of spooks me and when you find stuff well I, I guess it's like this if you go looking for something you're probably going to find it and it's not good for nobody when you do find some ghosts especially some visible evidence of a ghost of some sort so obviously whoa there don't run over me thank you it's my fault i'm running right through the road like i own the road but recently we took it upon the ocean, and after reviewing that, I think we both can agree we did hear something weird in the ocean. Now, I, I, I'm i gonna be honest, dude, I think that's just like a normal ocean sound. I think that was like a well or something. Like, I don't think it was a ghost. Like, that really sounded like a well sound. And guys, if you've been on the ocean or near the ocean and you've heard a well, like those things, they don't sound human. Probably because they're not human. So that's what I'm gonna rid that one off. But that doesn't change the ghosts in Brookhaven and, and I know the ocean is still a very high interest place for surrounding ghosts and actually I just recently got something recently about the ocean ghost that kind of trembled me a little bit I'm not going to be diving too much into that but because I need to re I need to review the credentials of it and I need to overview it a little bit more but maybe tomorrow or something I'm going to let you guys in on the information that I got if it ends up being valid but it's a Friday in Brookhaven right now. It's not Saturday. It's not time to reveal that type of ghost shenanigans. What we're going to do is move into, well, has someone took lot 13? I thought 13 would be a good eerie number almost. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, someone. Oh, someone's already got 13. So uh, let's see. What's another scary number, dude? Um, let's see. These are the apartments, the houses. Let's just do lot 16 then. Why not, dude? Okay, so... You guys can probably tell this is the dude with the castle. <sighs> dude. Th this castle. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. First off, look at this. You see this like like kind of withered away on the side of the castle? What does that tell you? What does that tell you? That tells you the castle is old. Very old. Let's go in. What was that? Did you guys see the lighting change there? What is that? Okay, guys, um, that was weird. The lighting changed a little bit. Let me get my flashlight because we're gonna be roaming this castle. And the reason for that is, oh, there's a chest. Oh, wait, I thought these were chests. <laughs> what is this? Why do I hear like a static? Is that static? Huh? Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, so um, basically, I don't know what this is, dude. Okay, well, I'm going to imagine the castle probably has some old medieval paintings. This just looks like some grapes, maybe, with wings. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to assume the castle does have... Now, Now we do know the castle does have some secrets. Oof. Okay, so let me touch a little bit on this before we go dive. And it doesn't help it's going to get dark soon. But let me sit here and tell you guys a little bit about what we are dealing with. Now... People are claiming ever since this castle got released that every now and then they are catching a ghost in this castle. I think this is complete bogus. I don't think it's real, okay? Now, we did catch some stuff on the ocean, but I think it was a well. So, and, you know, that be the case, 
A ghost in the castle? It makes a lot of sense, dude. This castle is old, and if there's gonna be any haunted place, it's gonna be an old estate, an old castle, full of all kinds of history, right? Uh, what's this painting? I don't know, dude. These paintings are weird. I I'd rather not look at the paintings because they just get really weird. Oh, great. It's nighttime. That's great. At least there's a Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go down in the basement. No, actually, you know what? Let's go upstairs first. Let's go upstairs first. I'm not going in that basement yet, dude. You can forget about that. So let's go in here. Now, is this the one with the painting? No, this is the one with the painting. Um, Now, there is chest. There's no chest. Is this a chest? This is a chest. I'm pretty sure this is a chest. I don't know why I'm having such a... No, that's normal painting. Um, mm -hmm, perfect. All right, let's go in here, and then let's click this. All right, that activates one of the castle secrets. So I didn't know if, like, maybe you have to activate something for this to appear. We got this guy and his horse. I'm guessing this uh, this comes from the medieval time. Now, this painting translates to brave, I believe, in the museum. If you activate a couple secrets, the words below it say brave. So it's kind of signifying that this guy was brave. This was a brave individual. Is it Brookhaven? I don't know. Uh, is it Mr. Brookhaven? I don't know, dude. So if we come down here, though, and then we go down into the kitchen, we're going to jump up here, and we're going to get another secret we can press. Now, this already is translucent as it is, and now we gotta go down here, great. Oh yeah, dude, go to the castle dungeon at like eight o'clock at night, dude, that's, that's great. Is there anything behind here, like a jump scare, dude? That's what I'm expecting, honestly, dude. All right, we got a battle axe down here and some old bowl that's completely rotten. Look at this, dude, look at the detail on this, dude. Look at the walls, even, oof. Okay, well, um, all right, if we come in here, that was another one of the bowls. I guess that's the feeding bowls, dude. That's so weird. All right, and then we get a key. Now, we all know where this key goes. It goes up here to activate the scrolls, right? But something weird happens when you do that. All the candles. Okay, it appears as scrolls. Ooh. Now, this is where it gets serious. All the candles go out, and a lot of times, we never really explore. Now, we do got the scrolls here that say, I've been translating. Beware of the book. What book, dude? What are you talking about? Okay, um, now, as you can tell, all the lights in the house are out. Do we go back down to the dungeon during this blackout like this, dude? It, 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 and, like, it doesn't help that it thunders like that. All right, let's just go. What about now? Okay, I'm just playing around. Um, oof. <laughs> that, ca <laughs> that candle off in the distance kind of surprised me there for a second. All right, let's open this. Is there any bowl in this one? Yeah, it's right here, dude. These are like dog bowls, man. What? What is this? What is this? And this must be where like the the prison guard just sits out here with his battle axe to make sure the prisoners don't escape. You know, it definitely makes me think, what if some prisoners died in here? You know, is there like security cameras in this place? I don't see any. Wait, does does this place have security cameras? It does. Ooh. <laughs> oh God. That is eerie. Okay. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Click off that. Click off that. Oh, there I am, dude. That's even more creepy. Look at this, dude. Looking at myself on the security... Okay, okay, okay. What the heck was that, dude? I'm not going back to that camera. That was on the second floor where we activated the painting. The hallway, the hallway, the hallway. Wait, is not the dungeon that's haunted? You guys heard that, right? You, you heard that, right? That wasn't a well. A hundred percent, that was not a well. Well, well, well. Okay. Hold up. The adrenaline is going a little bit. I don't know. Did we just go up there? Do we... Do we just... Okay. Let's go. Okay. Um. Do I go to the second floor, dude? I don't need to... Because I heard 
I heard that, dude. You don't even got to reconfirm like a timestamp. I mean, honestly, if you guys see anything, you can post a timestamp below. Like, guys, just post a timestamp if you find something as per usual. Oh, get out of my face. All right. Can I close these? I can't. Dude, what if we see something up here? I, I obviously, it could be in one of the rooms. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Did it come from one of the rooms? Did it come from one of the rooms? Is there something in the rooms? Just look down. Just look down. Just look down. What was that? That was my flashlight. Calm down. Hello? Snow most of the night. Well, that's kind of lightening up the mood a little bit. All right, this room's clear. What is that? What is that? All right, what, what, whatever, dude. All right, next room coming in. <sighs> I don't like it, dude. I don't like it. All right, this is the painting. Dude, what if this painting starts moving or something? Dude? I don't know, man. It, this is the problem with scary stuff. My imagination makes it even worse. Like, great. We have one more room. And obviously, there was a noise up here. There was a noise up here. And we have one more room. That's, that's just great. That means it's probably on the other side of this door, whatever it is. Okay. Oh, look at the time. Look at the time. It's almost 3 a.m. That's great, dude. Prime time, dude. Hello? <laughs> We're good, dude. There ain't nothing up here. What was that then? Roads are icy. And this goes to the roof. Okay. Then what was that? Wow, it is snowing. Okay, there I am. Hi. Say hi to the camera. Um, this is the hallway. Dude, this hallway looks so much scarier during whenever you activate the scrolls. It looks way scarier. Ew, this still looks terrifying. Never mind. Dude, what if these doors just start opening and closing like rapidly, dude? I gotta stop, man. Okay. Um, let's go check upstairs one more time because that's where we heard the noise. I don't see nothing, dude. Come on. I kind of want to capture some like visible evidence dude this is kind of annoying me like if you're going to if there's gonna be a ghost and guys keep in mind we have found real ghosts before in brookhaven like it's not something that's not findable we have found like creepy things in brookhaven but i can't seem to catch something here i don't know if wolfpack is just adding scary sounds now i do know you can activate the disaster packs but there's obviously no disaster packs on right now so and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to find real ghosts in Brookhaven, right? So, although, there is one thing I did not try. Let's get the PKE meter. And let's activate that again. Ooh, I don't like it. Okay, PKE meter. Let's go upstairs. This thing, this thing is beeping kind of fast. All right, let's check, let's, nothing in here. Okay, the PKE meter is going at a steady pace. Whoa, hold up, it, it stopped for a second. Did you guys catch that? Wait, what? What was that?
Okay, the PKE meter stopped for a second in this room. Is there like... No, it's not doing it now. Oh, I can just... I can just walk through the wall right there, dude, all this whole time. Let's take the PKE meter to the dungeon. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't play me like that. No, 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 no. That thing stopped. Unlock the door, unlock the door. Oh my God, dude. That thing stopped for a second in the basement. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. This whole castle, dude. Uh-uh. No, no, mm-mm. I'm good. I'm good. Uh-uh. Hearing that on the second floor and then the PKE meter kind of sort of stopping in some places. Uh-uh. And don't do it in a dark dungeon. This thing's broken. This thing's broken. I don't like it, dude. Take, take your PKE meter and get out of here, dude. I don't like it. No, that was that was a little weird, dude. That was weird. Not gonna lie, dude. Now I'm thinking snowmans are gonna come alive and eat me, dude. Let it snow. Well, it did snow. Obviously, it's a complete blizzard. <sighs> okay, guys, we made it through the night. Don't want to do that again. Do not do that. Do not do that. Okay, do not. Someone's, someone's Go got to a the bulldozer castle. here. I I that's scroll. that's rather unusual. What does this sign say here? I have no. Wait, wait. <laughs> What? I, I don't know, but guys, it is 3 a.m. in Brookhaven, and that can only mean one thing. It is time to hit the like button if you haven't. Guys, let's get a high number of likes. You know, we can do it. We can really do it. I know we can. Uh, we're back at 3 a.m. This time to return to the ocean. After hearing what I believe to be a well in the ocean, it was time to reinvestigate. It was time to go back. But this time, I have something very surprising in store for us. Um, unlike anything we've ever covered before, this one is definitely going to take me by surprise. Probably all of you guys by surprise as well. Let's go ahead and hop on our skateboard, increase the speed. The new updates have been really great in Brookhaven, I must say. But um, yeah, if we head on over here to the ocean, we're gonna go behind the abandoned shack. This is the side of the ocean that always sparks my curiosity because this is the part of the ocean where there is no island. It is nothing but desolate ocean. However, there is still a very small sign out here that definitely is uh, it's a bit questionable on why it's here. It's just a little bit questionable. If we come out here, it says, Boats spawn beyond this point. And if you see, there is nothing beyond this point. What do you mean? <laughs> Why do I want a boat? It's a full moon. Perfect. Well, guys, it is nighttime. We're going to go out on the waters and get my favorite boat. Um, this boat right here is just my all-time favorite. I like making it white. There we go. And then we're off to sail the seven seas now this is interesting guys now what i believe we found in our last investigation on the ocean was a weird sound and that sound of course being nothing more than well you guessed it a well i think brookhaven does actually have wells in the game like the noises at least and it makes sense that there would be somewhat dynamic sea sounds to some degree right it makes totally sense i don't know why there wouldn't be so yeah if you're out on the seas and you do hear some noises that don't seem to add up it's probably a sea creature of some sort hopefully not a sea monster hopefully nothing that's really going to make you contemplate your reality out there on the sea what a very delusional place to be you know a place that could prey on delusions better yet the sea is no joke and we have been slowly learning that little by little and gradually that the ocean in Brookhaven might be holding things that we could never ever expect and well this takes on the role if you see this in the ocean you might want to officially leave it we're going here to the edge of the world and we are going to touch on this story that I have been going over recently and been really just it's been resonating to me and I'm not gonna lie to you guys it has been rather terrifying Thankfully, a new day is upon us, so hopefully it's not going to make it too scary. And while we're out here, we're going to keep our ears open to see if we see anything else as we go over what I'm going to call a creepy pasta. I don't know if it's real, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys in on this. I talked about this a while back that, well, someone, I had, I had a, a story and... I wasn't sure the confirmation of it, if it had any validations or it was just kind of something put together. That's why I'm calling it a creepy pasta at the end of the day, but still the ocean is creepy and we did hear something out here and I want to touch on this. So 
let me go ahead and go down here to a book. We're going to act like I'm just reading this from a wonderful book. There we go. It's a black book. How creepy is that, dude? All right, let's take a seat here out here in the ocean. Let's get some dynamic feels going here. There we go. And let's, let's start diving into this. The ocean is full of mysteries, sounds from the depth that leave us in a state of unknown, a state of fear about when we are sailing, what could be below us. This type of uncertainty, as we discover new parts of the ocean, many players are claiming to not only hear strange noises, but wondering what is really beneath Brookhaven. As the ocean continues to show us the possibilities of what is possible in Brookhaven, something is lurking, and only few have encountered it. From myths of sea beasts, giant sea monsters, and ghosts from past sailors that leave a haunting history, what really is out there in the Brookhaven Ocean? Well, one player had the most eerie finding yet. One night out ocean exploring, this player's boat stopped unexpectedly, leaving him in a complete stranded state with only two options. Figure out how to fix the boat. However, no Brookhaven boat should ever break down or swim back to the shore. Having heard about these myths, the, players, the player considers his options and decides to wait like a sitting duck, only to notice the boat to start trembling and the tides to start growing larger. Perhaps this is a rare event only few players encounter. Nothing out of the ordinary, or perhaps it's something much more. Off in the distance, something starts rising out of the water and heading towards the boat. The description of what was spotted is nothing but an unbelievable in-size monster peeking out from the tides like no one has ever described, but almost vacant in transparency. Is this a ghost or is it real? Is this actually a glitch Brookhaven server? Maybe there's hackers in the server. It quickly vanishes and all appears to go back normal as it was approaching the boat. The boat starts working again, and it's almost as if nothing has happened. The player considers a hacking prank, but something just doesn't sit right. Deciding to log off Brookhaven, the player thinks, will anybody believe me? Wow, what a little brief story there, guys. What a brief story, but it does have notes that is worthy in it, you know, to really think about. And I'm going to be honest, this one definitely is eerie because this person claims they're out exploring the ocean, as we do. Guys, the ocean update just released in Brookhaven. Of course, we're all going to be exploring the ocean, going about our fishing endeavors, doing our deep sea fishing. And this individual claimed, as, as I'm going to operate my boat right now, that for some reason... The boat just stopped working. Now, he did in this story consider the fact that the server could be glitched or hacked in some way. There has been times if you're on a Brookhaven server, the server will shut down. That's usually due to a new update being introduced. There is servers you will encounter from time to time, but it has got better over time with hackers. There is no stranger, guys. I've joined servers where people are flying around. It is rare, but it does occur from time to time. Here lately, though, I haven't had any hacker encounters, thankfully, and um, I'm sure they get banned pretty quickly for doing so. However, in those specific servers, strange things can happen. These hackers could probably shut down the operation of all of the vehicles. Uh, this could have resulted in the boat itself stopping. However, what this player later goes on to explain doesn't really piece together with that theory with me. Just like in Bloxfruit, if you guys have ever played it, it's another well-known Roblox experience. In that game, if you're out on the sea, you have a chance of encountering rare sea events. These events usually lead you to try and obtain rare items to progress or upgrade your character or to get, you know, just like I said, rare items. And it isn't unusual to spend 15 minutes on the dark ocean waters waiting for a sea beast to appear. Could Brookhaven have something like that? Could Brookhaven have rare sea events that you find yourself waiting or you're just encountering in an unexpected way? I, I mean, if so, this has to be so incredibly rare. And for it to be such a dark, scary secret, well, it isn't unlike Brookhaven. 
I mean, this whole investigation has been looking over scary ocean ghosts and the possibility of finding things out on the ocean and even hearing things that don't make sense that we call on video. So we have our own experiences that has been caught on video. We have actual audio evidence. The ocean might have dynamic sounds to some extent. And if that's the case, and that can only be heard at rare occurrences, what is stopping Warpack from adding a rare event? If this is the case, which I highly doubt it, I don't want to believe it, there's a, there's a chance that perhaps your boats in the deep dark night on the ocean can stop working. The waves can start rising, getting a little bit out of control almost. Through these tides of waves, something appeared, this player couldn't really describe it well, but it appeared to look very, very scary, coming towards him in a translucent way, which makes it sound like a ghost. It really makes it sound like a ghost of like, I don't know, like if it's Mr. Brookhaven, I don't know if the ghost has, maybe not Mr. Brookhaven, but what if the ghost is like something more, like it's a sea beast of some sort that kind of tricks you into like I, I honestly dude this this sounds like he stepped into a different reality or something dude i don't know but ghost being into another realm the paranormal world you know they could be in another dimension of some sort uh maybe this person accidentally crossed over into the dimension or maybe this person was playing brookhaven and they were just tripping out a little bit i mean it just could be possibly the truth um because this story definitely comes across as a real sighting and experience but at the same time guys the story seems very far-fetched and it just doesn't seem like something you could actually catch happening in brookhaven that's my thoughts on it though. i want to know what you guys think in the comment section below do you think this has any validation have you experienced anything on the ocean like this and, and not just this guys have you had anything weird happen to you out on the brookhaven ocean Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to be looking over the comments, of course. If you see anything, post the timestamps. Even in this video, dude, I could have been reading a book because something could have been off in the distance, but I highly doubt it. It's bright. It's daytime. It's feeling good. You know, a good time to pick the look into a creepy story of sort. I don't want to run across this weird translucent sea monster thing sighting, dude. How did, how did the individual describe this? Like, I mean, it was, everything seemed pretty normal. But as the water started rising, the tides, I guess, a unbelievable in size is what this person used to describe. Vacant in transparency. Is it a ghost? Is it real? We need more description of this. And most importantly, I really wish this person would have took a screenshot. I really do. I wish, I wish we would have got a better explanation. This person could have took a screenshot or at least compared something to what they seen. Because right now, what we're going off of, it could be a ghost, like a normal ghost. It could be a sea monster ghost thing. I don't know. Um, but I do know this. The water in Brookhaven on the average day looks very, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's not moving, guys. Look at the water. The water doesn't really move. It doesn't really have much texture at the moment. You can't even swim in this Brookhaven water, dude. Let's be real. You can't even swim in it right now at the time of me recording this. And... That also makes me makes me be like, well, the tide's moving and stuff. It, uh, then again, guys, when we're driving our boats, you see the water effects and everything. That does show that there is water animation in the game, right? Look at that. That is water animation. So I guess the tides could change and things could occur from this. But all I know is if I see this in the ocean, I am leaving the server. <laughs> Dude, if I see anything, if my boat stops while I'm in the middle of the ocean, I'm leaving the server. Because I'm going to be like, ah, it must be frozen. Or it, it, it's also the thing, guys. If your boat does freeze while you're driving it, it might be your co internet connection. All right? We got to think logical about this, okay? We got to think logical. Now, logic leaves the window when I start encountering stuff. I, I like to be logical about a lot of things, guys. But I'm going to be honest. Sometimes in Brookhaven, some of the things I have encountered, it makes me not be so logical in the aspect of like, this is definitely... There's definitely something here, you know, and I don't know what it is, but uh, it's definitely got me feeling a little bit worried and concerned. And all right, let's get on our bike here. Dude, this bike is so weird, dude. I like it, though. I like this bike a lot. So 
did my boat already despawn? Oh, I think I can only have one uh, vehicle in a per public server, right? We are in a public server. You know, we could try to ask some of the people, other players, have they encountered anything weird on the ocean? What a surprise would it be if someone we interview is like, hey, you know, other than the typical role plays like ABC for a mom. <laughs> uh, what if somebody has had any weird find on the ocean? I'm going to go with no, they haven't. But if we can get a player to respond to us and actually maybe fill us in on some of this, that would be incredibly interesting. I must admit. Um, let's change the speed to this a little bit. We need to go faster. Let's just go knock on someone's house. Dude, this is Brookhaven. I mean, you can knock on anybody's house. People are usually friendly. I keyword usually. Um, not always, though. They're not always friendly. They're usually friendly. So let's see if anybody's home. Mm, I don't see nobody home here. No. Nobody's home there. Let's go try. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Let me see if he's available. Hi. Dude, he's got green hair and every... Oh. Well, this isn't working too well, dude. Nobody wants to be responsive, dude. All right, well... Is anybody... Nobody home? Wait. Okay, that's just a Christmas present. All right, no more houses here. This server is rather vacant, dude. If something would have happened out on the sea, nobody would have believed me. 100%, dude. Can you imagine... Nobody would have even believed me. All right, let's set up here. Nobody. Hello. Okay. What? It's almost like the people are just bots, dude. They're, oh, wait. Oh, 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 look at that. Got the Reindeer Rosie merch, guys. This is available right now. Only till the end of December. Then it goes away for good. This person's got... It's an elf. Hold up, hold up. It's an elf. It's an elf. That stole my bike. Wait a second. That elf just stole my bike. Are you... Are you... <laughs> Give me my bike back. All right. Well, I, I guess this elf is still in my bike, dude. I cannot believe this, dude. And it's getting nighttime again, dude. It's getting nighttime again, dude. This person totally turned into an elf and stole my bike, dude. I can't believe it, dude. But, um, yeah, guys. That was, uh, like a little story, creepy pasta I wanted to uh, relay to you guys from a story that I received. And I thought it was interesting to look over, at the very least, to put a voice to this story and let it be known a little bit more. Um,. You guys can take what you will from this. Like I said, it's kind of hard to believe in a lot of ways, but since we're touching on a lot of the ocean ghosts and we have encountered some weird noises out in the ocean, I thought it was only right that I make this. So if you guys haven't already, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe, and it will post notification for ringing the bell, making it go ding, guys. We do this every single day. And that is going to conclude... Our little pursuit of the mystery of the ocean ghost. All right. Concluding our evidence, what we have totally received. Let's go in here. Let's go into the. Let's go in here. Let's get our paperwork. Get our paperwork. Okay, let's look over it. What we have concluded from this investigation, which, guys, we, we haven't done many investigations, right? So what we have concluded from this investigation is while we didn't directly find a visible translucent ghost like in this story, we did encounter a noise that I am concluding to be a dynamic sound in Brookhaven, a well. And very much so, I guess it, that could have been a player as well. That, that is a possibility too. There is sounds and the boom box and music you can play in Brookhaven. So that could be a possibility as well. Um... But the well thing was very eerie. It was very creepy. Um, I don't know. You guys claimed that there was a lot that you've you've seen off in the distance when uh, when we were on the sea looking and heard the well sound. You guys claimed to have spot a lot of eerie looking figures uh, throughout the timestamps. And while I did review some of these, I didn't clearly see or make out anything too visible for proof. But this does happen sometimes. You get leads. Sometimes it leads to nowhere, but we did catch some audio evidence, and that is a big checkpoint into 
this investigation. But this is where I'm gonna take the investigation and hand it off to you guys. So if you find anything scary on the ocean, tweet it my way on Twitter, at TotallyNotOwinG. Do you guys like the new channel art? We just got new channel art as well. That is going to conclude our investigation. Well, there you have it. As I sit on this island alone with my flashlight, at least I have an escape route. That boat right behind me is going to be my escape route if it doesn't despawn or blow up or stop working. Like this happened to the one individual as we were deep diving in and investigating. That is definitely worrisome now. Every time I'm out in the ocean at night, I worry. What if my boat stops? What if something stops working? What if... Something starts appearing out of the ocean that is not normal and not supposed to be there. Well, at least I can confirm one thing. I've not spotted any sharks in Brookhaven yet, so that's good. At least we don't got to worry about getting eaten alive by a shark. That's a terrifying thing. But either way, guys, that will conclude our investigation for the Ocean Ghost. If you have any extra leads, you can let me know. And uh, wow, that was kind of cool, you know, exploring the ocean and even taking a sidetrack and looking at the castle. Um... The castle was something we de we never really got to investigate for ghosts, but after seeing the PKE meter just act a little bit, not so great. Not so great. That definitely got me worried a little bit. I'm not going to lie, dude. That definitely got me worried a lot. But you guys know here is the place to be for Brookhaven. All things surrounding it, the mysteries, the role plays, we got it all, and we get down to the bottom of it. So if you guys made it to the end of this movie, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I truly do. And I just want to make ever so loving content that is endless to the end of time. I, I don't know, dude. Here I am trying to sound cool or something. But basically what I'm trying to say is thank you guys. Truly. Uh, that's all I can really do. You know, I like to uh, create the content and uh, upload it. And that's what I do. So, yeah. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. If you made it to the end, comment below saying I made it. And with that aside, I will see you all in the next one. Have a Merry Christmas.